Okay, next thing is we're going to talk about the change of base formula. And the change of base formula is this one here. Now, uh, on your calculator, you can only do two different types of logs. You can do a log base 10, which is your LOG button, or you can use a log base E, which is a natural log, that's your LN button on your calculator. However, if they want you to do something like this, log base 5 of 8, you're not going to be able to use LOG and LN by themselves in order to calculate this because we have a base of 5 on here. So the change of base formula allows you to change something that is in a different base like this into a base that you can do on your calculator. So I can change this into whatever base I want. That's what the formula says. So if I have a base I'm not familiar with that's there, what I can do is I can introduce a log base B. So I'm going to do log base B of the big number here divided by log base B of the, the base that I have of the original log. So this B can be anything I want. I can make it a log base 10 or I can make it a log base E. Those are the two that you probably want to change it into uh, so you can actually do the, the, this problem in your calculator. But know that you could also change these to any particular base that you want. Let's do this one by applying the change of base formula. So the uh, the lowercase a would be a 5, and the 8 here would be your m. The b is whatever I want. So there's actually two different ways I could do this problem. I could do it all with log base 10, or I could do it all with log base e, using ln. doesn't really matter. Let's do the first one uh, with log base 10. So I'm going to do log base 10 of the big number, 8, divided by log base 10 of the bottom number, 5. Uh, or I don't even need to show the 10 on there, I could just put simply LOG8 and LOG5. Now if I put that into my calculator, what I'm going to get is 1.29, that's rounded to two decimal places. Now, if I chose to not use LOG and I want to use LN instead, my natural log, that's a log base E, I could do that as well. Okay, so basically I have two different ways of calculating that. I could either use this or I can use LNs. So a natural log of 8 divided by natural log of 5. Now if I put that into the calculator, I'm still going to get 1.29 for that one, and that would be rounded to uh, two decimal places. So either one of these I can do. Now you can't mix and match. You can't do LOG and LN or something like that. They have to be all LOG or all LN uh, when you do that. Uh, but this would be your answer. Uh, log base 5 of 8 rounded to two decimal places would be 1.29. Let's take a look at a, a part B here. So hopefully you have all this. Let me go ahead and put in uh, part B on this one. And part B would be the same type of problem. You're still uh, calculating. Uh, and you're, and th we're going to do this one also to two decimal places. So let, let's calculate that one to uh, two decimal places, just like the other one. Now because I have, this is a multiplication symbol, that's what the little dot means here. So you're multiplying these two together. So I'm going to have to use a change of base formula uh, for each one of these separately since I have two different logs. So again, you can either do the whole problem with LOG or LN, doesn't matter. I'm going to use LN, but just know that you could use either one. Now if I use the formula in this case, I'm going to do LN of the big number, the M here, uh, divided by LN, the uh, I'm doing log base E technically here, which is why I'm just putting that all as uh, LN. So I have the, the base of the other one, the original one, I put that on the bottom. Okay, so I have that complete. Next, I'm going to do another change of base formula for this one here. Okay, so I'm going to do natural log of the big number, natural log of 9, divided by natural log of 8, uh, just like this. And this is what I'm going to be multiplying together. Now for this one, I can actually just cancel out the two LN8s and make it LN9 divided by LN3. Because of multiplication, I am allowed to cancel those out. Now I could put this into my calculator, but there's actually a way that we can do this working with log properties where you don't even have to use a calculator on this one. So what I can do on this is I'm going to change the 9 into 3 squared because that way I get an LN3, just like the LN3 on the bottom. My log properties say that I can take this exponent and I can move that down in front. So I get two natural log of three and then I have natural log of three on the bottom. And then those cancel out and I'll get two uh, as my answer. 
Uh, so the answer for this problem uh, would, be, would be 2. Now I would get the same thing if I just put that in my calculator, ln 9 divided by ln 3, but there are some times where you could apply uh, properties just like this, but we end up getting the same answer.